Howdy, this is a video about one of the key challenges to installing solar power on your house yourself, which is to avoid backfeeding the grid, which is a violation uh, of local regulations in many cities. Uh, so first, I'll give you a quick overview of my system. This is a grid tie inverter. It shows that my panels right now are only generating 144 watts. Uh, it's kind of a cloudy day. And here you can see my house is consuming about 750 watts of power. And the way this is working is solar panels plug into the top up here. So this is DC power from the solar panels coming in. On the bottom, this simply plugs into just a regular outlet down here. So this is where it delivers electrical power into the grid of my house. And then uh, this grid tie inverter also has a current sensor input up here which is how it's monitoring how much power my house is using. Uh, so when I first installed this system, uh, it was working great, but about a week into it, I got a notice from the city that they were going to shut off my power because I was back feeding the grid, uh, which was against the local regulations here. And so what was happening is during some, or in some parts of the day, when it was very sunny, uh, sometimes when my panels were generating more power than the house was using, and so that excess power was being fed back into the grid. And uh, I'll step outside and explain more about how that works. Uh, I guess here, here's my electric meter. Uh, so it's a smart meter, and so it's able to actually notify the city when I'm back feeding the grid. So in order to continue using my solar panels, I would have to find a way to not back feed the grid, uh, but just have my panels generate no more than the amount of power my house was using. Uh, so this grid tie inverter, it actually does come with a limiting function that does this, just that. So it'll monitor how much power my house is using and not deliver any more power uh, than what the house is using. But there's one big shortcoming, which is the main focus of this video. Uh, so the grid tie inverter only comes with one of these blue current sensors. But in order to accurately measure the total power being consumed by the, your house, you have to monitor both the live wires that come into your house. So I'll take a step back now and explain a little more of the background about how that works. So power comes into your house on two hot wires, which are these two wires, uh, and those are carrying 240 volts. But most of the things in your house run off of 120 volts. And the way that's done is uh, there, it's the 240 volts coming in is split into two separate 120 volt circuits and basically half of the stuff in your house runs off of one of those 120 volt circuits and the other stuff in your house runs off of the other half. So in order to accurately measure the total power being consumed by your house you have to measure the current flowing through both of these hot wires. So. Uh, there's actually a simple solution to this, which is you simply can buy a second one of these current sensors, and I'll have links to that below, uh, and then combine these sensors to be in parallel. So I'll show you more of that now. So here's the two sensors. These are the wires coming from them. You can see the two wires running together. Those then go into my garage. And I ended up using eighth inch audio cables for this for extending these wires and then just use an eighth inch uh, audio Y adapter to combine the two and those are then I had to splice those in to uh, the current sensor which is up here which then plugs into the grid tie inverter uh, there's a one challenge to this is that you do have to make sure that the phase of the two current sensors are aligned with each other uh, if they're out of phase, then the currents will subtract from each other. Uh, but if you have them properly in phase, they will add together so that you can measure the total power being consumed by your house. Another thing too is you have to make sure that the phase of the sensors up here is the same phase as the 120 volts this is plugged into. Um, if that's not correct, then this will show negative power right here. Uh, if the phase between the sensor and the AC power down here is not aligned properly. Uh, so that was the key to getting all this to work. This has now been up and running for about eight months now and I've had no complaints from the city uh, with that limiter function turned on. So now this grid time inverter uh, will not generate any more power 
than what the house is using. So when that when that happens, what you'll see is it'll it'll show how much power the panels are generating, and then this number will go down to zero. Um, and so that again was the the key challenge that I had to overcome to getting this to work. And if you decide to go down this path, uh, be careful and good luck.